Today we're going to be going through the installation process for the Shine kiosk. What you're looking at here is everything that is shipped to you. We have the kiosk here in its enclosure. Uh, we have the mounting hardware, we have the security keys, and we have the power supply. Um, this is everything that's included and this is everything that's needed to set up the Shine kiosk. The only tool that you'll need for this process is a drill or uh, a screwdriver. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to take our enclosure and we're going to use the security key to open it up. You sort of twist the key to unlock it. We'll open it up. And we'll move, we'll move the display. Here's the enclosure that we'll be mounting to the wall. Next. The next part of the Shine Kiosk installation is mounting the kiosk to the wall. One thing you'll need to have done before the installation is have an electrician or a handyman install a power outlet uh, recessed. And this will allow you to plug in your power supply that came with the kiosk. It's important that the power outlet is recessed because the Shine kiosk will mount flush to the wall. So now we're going to go ahead and plug our power supply into the recessed outlet. And you can see here, we've got the other end that we'll plug into the kiosk. So we'll go ahead and tuck this wire into the recessed area. The next thing we'll do is we'll take our Shine kiosk enclosure and we're going to mount that to the wall. You wanna make sure that the security hardware is facing up. That way when the kiosk is opened, the display won't fall out. So we'll go ahead and run this power cord through the center. Take our first screw. Mount that in. And we'll do that same process with the other four screws. So now you can see the kiosk is securely mounted to the wall. Now that the Shine kiosk enclosure has been securely mounted to the wall with the recessed outlet and our power connector, the next step is going to be setting up the display with the Shine kiosk app. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the App Store and search Shine Kiosk. Next, we're going to download the Shine Kiosk. While we're waiting for the Shine Kiosk to download, the next thing we want to do is go to our settings and go to our display and brightness. And we want to make sure that the brightness is all the way up. And we also want to make sure that the auto lock is set to never. This is going to assure that the kiosk display is bright and that it always stays on. Now we're going to go back to the app store and you can see we've downloaded the Shine kiosk. We're going to go ahead and open that up. Next, you can see the login view for the Shine kiosk. You'll go ahead and log in with your email and password. Now that we've logged in, the next screen is going to show us a list of all the locations 
associated with that account. So what you'll want to do is select your location where the kiosk is going to be out of the list. Now that we've selected that location, it's going to ask us for Bluetooth permissions. Select OK. And now the kiosk has been set up and it's ready to put in the enclosure. The next step will be to take your security key, insert it into the top, turn counterclockwise, The next thing we'll do, select your, take your uh, power and plug it in. And secure the display in the enclosure. Once it's secure, We're going to go, go ahead and place the cover over the front and then you can go ahead and close the enclosure. Now that the Shine kiosk has been securely mounted to the wall in the enclosure with the power adapter, the screen brightness turned all the way up and the lock screen set to never it's ready to be used by your customers. What will happen when your customers come up to the kiosk is they'll see this getting started screen, which is essentially an advertisement uh, for the kiosk in your laundry room. They can go ahead and tap the get started button. From there, they'll see a list of all of the available machines. The Shine kiosk will automatically pick up all available machines in the room and bring up all of the uh, numbers associated with those machines, which are also the QR code numbers on those machines. Your customer will simply tap which machines they want, which will add them to the cart. Then they'll go ahead and tap pay. They'll go ahead and be prompted to enter their credit card number. Once they enter their credit card number, the Shine kiosk will Go ahead and create a Bluetooth signal and send those to the machines and put the money on the machines, which will allow your customers to use them. Thank you.